A very common concern of parents, the baby's a couple of days old and it's yellow, and the pediatrician is starting to check that thing called a bilirubin. What is that all about? When the baby is born, a, one of the changes that occur in his body is that uh, he starts to break down some of the uh, fetal hemoglobin that uh, is uh, the type of hemoglobin that circulates in his red cells while he's developing as a fetus. Uh, the breakdown of this, bilirubin, uh, of this uh, hemoglobin will create a pigment called bilirubin that at very high levels is potentially toxic to the brain. Uh, inside the uh, womb, while the baby is developing, the placenta is actually doing the filtering and the cleaning and the picking up of this waste product uh, that gets excreted into the baby's gut or back into the mother's circulation. Once the baby is born, uh, in essence, the liver of the baby needs to pick up that bilirubin and uh, dispose of it. Uh, there may be sometimes a delay in the liver's ability to do that. And when that happens, some of this pigment will accumulate in baby's circulation, giving the baby's skin color uh, a little yellowish tinge. Uh, in most instances, it is not a problem. Uh, there are actually some people feel that bilirubin actually protects the baby because it is an antioxidant. Uh, but at high levels that uh, may be uh, damaging to the brain, we may have to address this issue and lower the bilirubin uh, level. Uh, so that if the bilirubin is uh, of a mild or moderate level, uh, there's really no reason to do anything because it will uh, clear on its own. If it does present to be a problem, uh, we have ways of addressing it and uh, treating it. Uh, there is a condition where the mother's blood, which could be O, and the baby's blood could be A or B. Is that a problem? Potentially it could be a problem because the mother has natural antibodies against the baby's uh, red cells. Uh, antibodies are immune globulins that uh, may actually attack the baby's red cell and cause them to break down a little faster, thus uh, creating more bilirubin as part of the byproduct of uh, the destruction of the red cell and may cause a problem with the rapid rise of bilirubin. These are type of situations do require uh, monitoring closely and at times we may have to address the rising bilirubin by uh, using various treatment modalities and uh, uh, lowering the bilirubin a, a little faster. Uh, that is definitely something that the pediatrician can very easily determine by doing a bilirubin level uh, monitoring the rate of rise of the bilirubin and uh, if necessary initiate uh, therapy to protect the baby. Uh, also when the kid goes home the doctor watches the kid's blood because sometimes they get a little anemic? Absolutely. Uh, normally babies will get anemic usually between six uh, weeks and uh, three months because of the fact that they break down their uh, fetal red cells. Uh, obviously, if there is a process that uh, facilitates or, or enhances that breakdown, uh, the baby may become somewhat anemic faster and uh, may require uh, watching the baby and maybe uh, adding the, uh, some iron uh, therapy to the baby. And in a rare, rare situation, the baby may even need a transfusion. But uh, these are pretty rare conditions. So generally, it's, it's watchable and most of the time it doesn't lead to too much hair. In most instances, the baby's natural processes and, and physiology will correct itself.